Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of neural networks and their backtracking is. Guys, I think that we not, might not get any problem from this topic because these problems are really complex if you want to solve them. Okay, yes. Okay, so let us initially go through the theory guys because that will be more than enough according to me. Okay, so neural networks. So a neural network is a group of connected input units, input output units, where each connection has a particular weight associated with it with its program okay it helps you to build predictive models for large data sets it helps in image understanding human learning and computer speech recognition okay yes so basically these neural networks will be in this way guys okay so in simple words you can say there are some kind of nodes which are connected to each other with some values guys okay so i think i wrote some example with Without values, I wrote. Yes. So in this way. So if you observe here, here we are having multiple layers, right? Yes. So each and every layer will have a connection to other guys. So basically assume in this way only direction. Okay. This is backtracking. So that is the reason why we got reverse also. Okay. Yes. So assume in that way only. So each and every one will have a particular weight, guys. Okay. So let me draw a small example here. Okay. So you are recognizing a zero and one guys okay and that zero and one is only in single pixel okay so basically if it is a zero you'll be saying it is a zero if it is a one you'll be saying it one right yes so basically based on these values you are designing so based on these weights right yes so remember in this way so from a particular point for an occurrence of a one what is the probability you'll be having here guys it is nothing but 0 0.9 it is a one okay 0 0.1 it is a 0 like this so you'll be having the values here so those are nothing but the weights of the neural network guys okay yes so those weights are calculated by total input sum so basically whatever inputs are coming all those weights plus you'll be adding them all and you'll be checking with the threshold and creating the outputs guys so there will be some algorithms for this so don't worry about them okay yes okay so basically construction of these neural networks is easy but if you want them to be accurate, you need to do some kind of magic with them, right? So that magic is learning among themselves. So they will be learning on their own. So that concept is nothing but with backtracking, guys. So backtracking is an essential for neural network training, okay? So it is a training method of fine learning the weights of the neural network based on the error rate obtained in the previous loop. So basically assume that in this way, guys, okay? So you are solving some problem okay so you are solving some problem you should end up at this result but you ended up at this result guys so this is the correct answer but you entered here so means you are wrong right so where did you go wrong like from here you came or from here you came so basically where is the issue you will be identifying by using the concept of backtracking so from where you came right yes so if you came from here okay so you understood that from here or somewhere here you got the issue right so it is in this way right so let me draw an example okay so we are having two examples guys okay yes so assume in this way so there are two different paths right yes so from here you understood that this should be the correct answer in this way but you entered here through this way right so here you entered here because of here so from here you went here so basically this value is wrong this should be correct but you entered there so in this way using the concept of backtracking you will be identifying where the issue is there you will be adjusting those errors and you will again you will retry with the new data and this process continues and yet some point eventually your system will be starting giving you the correct answers guys right yes okay so it's an iteration process okay proper turing so this process of setting those values is nothing but tuning guys will reduce the error rate and make the model more reliable okay so normal neural networks will be in this way okay yes okay so basically will a neural network will have a single layer or two layer or three layer guys no it will have multiple layers so in between only there's a chance of thousands of layers guys right yes so even in a normal number recognition from a zero to nine there will be around 200 to 300 layers in between guys i think everyone can imagine right yes okay so here we have multi-layered architecture that is nothing but three major layers the first one is input and the last one is output and whatever number of items are in between all are hidden layers guys right yes okay so the input starts at the input layer slowly moves through the hidden layers and reaches the outer layer okay so if the value is wrong or if it is not accurate okay 
so we will be calculating the error guys so if the error is nothing but actual output minus desired output so what we got minus what we want okay so the information is propagated back so basically depending on that value if the error is high or if the error is low we'll be propagating it backward and we'll be correcting them eventually slowly right okay so in the future there will be no errors with it right yes okay so the advantages of this is nothing but it is a fast simple and easy to program it has no other parameters to tune except the input. So basically based on the input and output only you'll be tuning everything, right? Yes. So large data sets isn't required as error margin reduces slowly on the new data set. So basically if you even train with 10 values, if you give 11th value, if you got wrong, right? So you will be training with this, right? So indirectly, even if it is wrong, you're saying that, okay, this is the correct way you go in this way. You're saying, right? So indirectly, you're training with it, right? So if you give 100 samples here, indirectly, you have trained your system with 110 items, guys, 110 data, input data, right? Yes, data set, we can say, right? Yes. So disadvantages. So performance completely depends on input. Okay, so this is completely dependent on input guys. So basically assume that I am the user, I wantedly gave the wrong answers guys. In that situation, the machine will be 100% in a confusion to select what and the probabilities will approximately be 0.5 only if I am giving wrong answers, like if I am giving randomly wrong answers, right? Yes, backtracking can be sensitive to noise data. So basically we cannot say every time we will be getting the exact values or exact data. There could be some noises, some errors, some bugs, right? Yes. So due to them also some kind of uh, disadvantages will be there, right? Like uh, editing the correct values. Like basically already the weight of that particular arrow is correct, but due to backtracking, you're updating the value. So those kind of small, small issues might come. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about this backtracking. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the SVM guys. That is nothing but a support vector machine. It is a supervised learning guys. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about it. Guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.